Wonderful. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your final session of the day. Don't worry, we are there. We've all made it so far. Welcome to St Pete Clearwater. My name is Pete, um, affectionately known as Pete from St Pete. You can carry that. You can keep that. Keep that as your own joke on your own measure. Um, I am from Rooster, so we're an integrated communications agency. We look after St Pete Clearwater here in the UK, Ireland and in Scandinavia. And today I'm going to give you a whistle-stop tour of why this is such a great place in Florida and why this is one of the premier destinations on the Gulf Coast. So buckle in, let's get going. So where are we? We are on the Gulf Coast of Florida, that is the West Coast. As you can see on the left-hand side, that is just outside Tampa International Airport. From London, it is super, super easy to get into Tampa. There are direct flights with Virgin from Heathrow and with British Airways from Gatwick. They are now daily, so super easy. Half an hour transfer on the other end could not be better. Now, if your clients are wanting to go to Orlando, you know, they've got that Disney magic in their mind. We are only a 90 minute drive from Orlando itself. So, you know, go to the parks, experience the magic of Disney, come to us for that bit of beach therapy after so you can really get your beach on. On the right hand side, you can see a little bit more of an in-depth zoom in map of St. Pete Clearwater. So there are 26 distinct communities here at play, all the way from Tarpon Springs in the north down to Tierra Verde in the south. Now, how big is it? Because, you know, I'm throwing a state in front of you. You might not be able to gauge how big that is. There are 35 miles of beaches and around 45 miles from top to bottom. So without traffic, you're looking at about an hour, hour and 20 minutes there. So it is actually quite sizable. Now, those beaches miles of white sugar sand beaches now what can i tell you about them i can say a lot i'm gonna keep it very condensed they are award-winning year in year out they rate amongst the best in america and in the world the st pete beach being the number one beach in the us for 2021's traveler's choice awards with TripAdvisor and number five in the world this extends all the way down to clearwater beach as well they were the number one beach in the south by usa today for 2023 and it just keeps rolling in there are 35 miles which means they're a beach for everyone so for more adrenaline seekers, they kind of want lots of activities going on. You can be on Clearwater Beach where you can do jet skiing and kite surfing. And there's Pier 60 where there are daily celebrations every evening. Now, if you want just a little bit of pure relaxation, you and the beach, go further south down to St. Pete. It really is that relaxing and there is a beach for everyone. Just drive 10 minutes in either way and you'll find something for you. Now, you've chosen us. You've chosen our award-winning beaches. Where are you going to stay? That is a brilliant question. And where are your clients going to stay even more importantly? We've got everything from big sprawling resorts, as you can see down in the bottom left at the Don Cesar, which is also known as the Pink Palace on St. Pete Beach, all the way to tiny little boutique properties right on the shoreline. A couple that we love are the Postcard Inn on St. Pete Beach, and there's just something for everyone there. We've got big, big name brands. We've got the JW Marriott for luxury up on Clearwater Beach, the Wyndham Grand and the Opal Sands. They're a nice little luxury trio on Clearwater. Or you've got the likes of the Rumfish by Tradewinds and the Tradewinds Island Grand Resort down in St. Pete, which is brilliant for families. There really is something for all price points and all wants from the holiday as well. What to do? So we've arrived in St. Pete, you've chosen your hotel. What are you going to do for three, four, seven, 14 days? Now, there is something new for every single day. As a standalone attraction, it works great. And as a twin centre, it also does. One of our favourites is the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. So this is based up north in Clearwater. If you've seen a dolphin's tail with Winter the Dolphin, this, this dolphin will kind of ring true. You might know a little bit about it. So Winter the Dolphin was rescued and she was brought into the Clearwater Marine Aquarium where she was rehomed and they made her a new tail so she could survive and live the rest of her life out the best she could. It's a complete rehabilitation centre and an animal hospital that over the past year has expanded humongously. They have more plans to do so as well. There are more animals coming to Clearwater Marine Aquarium Q2 this year. Another one is in the top right hand corner that opened in 2020 and was the number two attraction as voted by USA Today for the whole of the US when it opened. It is a 26 acre outdoor play area with a restaurant, a playground, a beach and a rooftop tiki bar called Pier Tiki. That's right up the top there and you can sit back, have a cocktail and watch the sunset behind St. Pete. It truly is beautiful. Our most recent is the bottom right hand corner, that is the sound at Coachman Park. It is a waterfront music venue with a 5,000 capacity on the lawn and 4,000 undercover. It's a truly unique venue which we're very excited to have some really good people coming to format in 2024. Now, arts and culture. Not synonymous with Florida, however in this area we like to see ourselves as the arts and culture capital of the state. There is something for absolutely everyone, whether that is museum lovers to people that love art in the streets, there is really something 
for everyone here. We've got over 600 commissioned murals in downtown St. Pete alone. It is like an artful, colourful Brighton, but on the on the Gulf Coast there. And every year it gets even bigger with Shine Mural Festival, which happens every October. But talking of museums, there is one real standout I'd like to highlight. And that's the Dali Museum. Now, why Dali? Why here? I'll give you a few little fun facts about why this museum is so special. It has the largest collection of Salvador Dali's work outside of Spain. That's coming up to almost two and a half thousand pieces of his work in this one building alone. It's been given three stars on the Michelin Guide and has also been rated as one of the best buildings to see in your lifetime by AOL Travel Today. It is truly a unique spectacle. You can see the Brutus architecture melding with this gorgeous blown glass going around the outside. It truly is beautiful. And there is also now a permanent additional exhibition right next to it. It's this gorgeous dome and you can step in and you're inside Dali's mind. So it's a nice pairing. We, we send people here, whether they love museums or not, if they're families, if they're couples, if they're solo travellers, this museum is a standout that they must see. And from personal experience, I did get a bit emotional looking at some of the pictures. Now, possibly my favourite thing to do about an area is the food and drink, right? That's the bit that really gets you when you go somewhere. You really take that away and you remember that. And again, here, it's extraordinary. As you would have seen today, fresh seafood in Florida is a plenty wherever you go. And here is no different. You can go to the likes of John's Pass, which is just off Madeira Beach. It's this kind of like boardwalk fishing village vibe. And you can see the catch of the day come straight in from sea to plate. But what else have we got? We've got a lot of stuff. Uh, we've got independent chains for about 30 blocks down Central Avenue. We've got upscale restaurants such as the Maritana and the Don Cesar. And we've got beachfront favourites like Frenchies on Clearwater Beach, where you can get the best burgers and cocktails around. There really is a nice mixture of cuisines, styles, price points and approach. Drinking wise, we've got that under our belt as well. There are over 40 homegrown and microbreweries in the area, which is why it's called the Gulp Coast. Not my joke, but going to claim it anyway. Um, so you can do a little beer stop and do the beer passport and go all the way around our microbreweries and notch them off as you go. So you can try unique things in here and you can try familiar favourites. Sporting events. Now, we have these as well. You're going to hear that from me a lot. I'm going to I'm going to keep saying we have that as well because this area really has it all. We've got a great sports offering in this area. We have Major League Baseball with the Tampa Bay Rays at the Tropicana Field Stadium in downtown St. Pete. The Buccaneers, who actually won in 2021, which is fantastic. They took that whole Super Bowl on. We have the Clearwater Offshore Nationals in September, which sees speedboats go all the way along Clearwater Beach, which you can see behind me. And coming up, the Firestone Grand Prix, which you can see in the bottom right-hand corner. You have these high-speed performance cars zipping through downtown St. Pete. It, it's beautiful. Now, everyone's favourite bit, the outdoors. You're not going to be sitting in a hotel room all day, are you? What can you do with the outdoors? Now, as you can see, dolphins. Dolphins are everywhere in this destination. The destination does a great job at preserving their wildlife and they truly are happy to be here. You can be on Pier 60, as you can see behind them, sitting on the beach, go on dolphin excursions with the little two and you're going to see them jumping around happily. It really is beautiful. On the right-hand side, you can see Honeymoon Island and Caladesi Island. So Caladesi is purposely not developed on. This means that you can go and you can have an island escape and you can feel like you're completely at one with the sea. You can do glass bottom kayaking around here and see the azure waters just below you. Or switch it up. You've seen the azure waters, you've been out and about, get into a cavernous mangrove, as you can see here, kayak through those. You can see the real biodiversity from start to finish. We even have manatees. If you go just far north and it's just early enough and just that right temperature, you'll see these gorgeous sea mammals just floating around. You've got to be lucky, but they are there. Now, key dates. I've thrown a few on there. Some of them have passed, like Locotopia and, and the Dream Big Parade. However, these are some standout events that go on throughout the year. I will highlight one in particular, and that is St. Pete Pride Festival. So that is the entirety of June. There is a big parade on one of the weekends. However, throughout the month, there are a lot of celebrations that make this truly unique. It is Florida's biggest Pride Festival and will continue to be so this year. It's a colourful celebration of the large LGBTQ plus population in St. Pete. And yeah, it, it creates an atmosphere of absolute glee and it is so beautiful to see in 2024 that carrying on.
A personal favourite, and I did put this in here for myself, is Tacos and Tequila Festival. So that is the 10th and 11th of May this year. Um, I just love tacos. I love tequila. They're two great things in the area. Um, I can I can tell you from personal experience, the margaritas at the Hurricane on Paso Grill Beach, they're beautiful. Now, I do have a little video for you to watch. It'll be about 90 seconds long. So hold in there for when I'm back. And it'll give you a little bit of an insight into how this destination truly feels. So enjoy. Let's make every day a beach day. Let's reconnect, relax, and recharge. Let's discover a world-renowned art scene. Let's find a whole new perspective. And a whole lot of inspiration. Let's make it look like we've done this before. Let's toast on the Gulf Coast. Let's leave with no regrets, but plenty of souvenirs. Let's trade in the to-do list for the bucket list. Let's enjoy a change of scenery for a change. Let's totally lose track of time. Let's ooh and ah. Let's marvel at masterpieces and make some of our own. Let's take the escape route. Let's induce some serious vacation envy. Let's stay up past our bedtime. Let's try one of everything. Let's soak up every sun-drenched minute. Let's shine in St. Pete. Right, come on, for a video, that was, I mean, I love that video every time I see it. I feel like it gives a real good look into the area and gives you just a complete showdown of why it's so special. I have gone into the chat. Hello, Brody. Hello, Daryl. Daryl, lovely to see you. Um, I'm so sorry about the background noise. I didn't know if you could hear that or not. I am I am in a shared space at the moment to can secure a location by myself. However, imagine that I am on Clearwater Beach and you can hear people gleefully running in the background to the sea and they've got some music on at the pier and it'll be like I'm right at home. Um, if you've got any questions, do pop them in. Um, and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, the last slide is just about sales support. Um, and I mean this with my full heart and my head. Email us. You know, if you've got any questions around accommodations, times to go, even which taxi firm to use or which car set us and um, you can see our email down below it's teamvspc at rooster.co.uk and my personal one is my first name and my last name with that same one at the end so peter.gregory at rooster.co.uk any questions whatsoever we're here to help i really really do mean that i'd rather be able to help you with anything and it and you know makes me useful as well um we're able to help with images videos logos all that kind of stuff we have a whole um image library that we can give you access to so for instance if you want to see a margarita like i mentioned earlier just type that in it'll take you straight there we also have access to brand usa's discovery program so do take advantage of that and i can send the link to you um and other than that yeah we're here with you every single step of the way it's not you just sending the destination it's us with you doing that um so please do just email us anytime that you want. And that is that is everything from my presentation. That is me start to finish. I've shown you clear water, excuse the pun, soft white sugar sand, gorgeous properties, and everything from the arts and culture scene down to kayaking through mangroves to having a lazy beach day. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, just pop them in and have a little look through. We like the recommend rest recommendations. Nice touch. Thank you. Um, again, I've got a whole document um, of restaurants, bars, and hotels that go through three categories: where they are, what their vibe is, and how much they cost. So, if you say, "Hey, I've got," I don't know, a group of five people going, their cousin and their friend, and they like Mexican food, and they don't want to spend too much. Okay, you can go to Bodega or you can go to Cantina. Bam, sorted. That's exactly where you go. Um, so we can do anything like that whatsoever. Uh, trying to book something for May 2025 but very few accommodations showing available if you do pop me an email Greg I can help you with that um, I can put you in touch with people that will be able to give you a better answer on how we can rectify that for you um, and the specifics of where you're looking as well do, 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 do. double checking that I've got it's my favourite beach destination Karen brilliant 
lovely that you come every year. It's truly fantastic. And yeah, I hope this has given you some sort of flavour into why it's so special, especially even down to this gorgeous sunset, which I'm luckily to be sitting past. And thank you very much, everyone. So lovely to see you all.